Well, we've gotten a little rain, but we hear that it will dry out very soon. Is that right, Mr. Skilling? That's exactly right, uh, Micah. You read my notes. Yes, uh, I did. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's a little drizzly out there right now, enough to turn on the windshield wiper every yeah. now and then, but uh, this is going to be a week noteworthy in the, for its lack of rain. Uh, good. Might be a sprinkle, uh, oh, Wednesday night or Thursday, uh, somewhere in there. Boy, did it come down yesterday in parts of the area. This is what it looked like as the heavens opened over northwest Indiana as shot by uh, Kate uh, Cyber uh, of our uh, one of our viewers out there. Kate sends some great pictures in. Rain's really poured down, but I'll tell you where they really got nailed was up here in Stevenson County up to the west of Rockford. This is a Doppler estimated plot of rainfall. Heavy amounts of rain came into parts of Will County, uh, three inches of rain there, and you can see the far western suburbs westward really got nailed. Uh, we had seven tenths of an inch at Midway and 45 hundredths at O'Hare, but that pales in comparison to some of the totals over the weekend. These are the 24 hour totals, and this is uh, for close in areas, some of the heavier totals. Other amounts uh, were lighter in many areas, but Mokina wound up with 356, New Lenox over three inches, over three inches Oak Forest at Beecher and Crete, nearly two inches of rain, and a little over an inch and a half at uh, Joliet. But look at these amounts of rain uh, farther west as you got out into Freeport, six inches, and that's just the 24 hour total. There are Doppler estimates that up to a foot of rain came down in that area out in Stevenson County, Winnebago at five inches, Dixon 451, Rochelle, you folks had four inches of rain. Here's where the towering clouds are now that are raining most vigorously on the area. They're situated through our southern counties right now, though we have some showers in our area as well. Here's the on top view with the icons marking where the heaviest rains are coming down. But uh, these rains are shifting southward, so they'll be moving out of the area as the evening goes on. And if we widen our view here, you see the quiet weather to our west. Here's a, an animation just to show you the movement and the trend in movement there. Uh, and some heavy rains, uh, even some lightning with some of those rains. But out west, this is the air mass coming in and the one that will dominate the weather. Uh, for uh, much of this week. Be a little puff of warmer air Wednesday afternoon, but Thursday and Friday will probably wind up the coolest days of the week. And look at the full fetch winds coming down the lake. That's why it's cooled off so efficiently. There's a big pattern change underway, this big hot air dome that has so dominated U.S. weather. The core of it backs up. This allows the jet to switch in from the northwest. And boy, it's going to be happy to sit out there for a while. Look as we run this animation in the next week, how we keep this ridge aloft and this basic northerly steering flow in from Canada going into next week. So it looks like we've got a couple of weeks uh, with temperatures at or below normal. In fact, every one of the next 15 days uh, will average at or below normal. There are no above normal days predicted in there, and that's quite a change because seven out of eight days of this month have been above normal. See the cool pool of air that this northwest flow is bringing in, plus the flow off the lake? Readings uh, up by Marquette are actually 14 degrees below normal. So it shows what happens when you switch upper steering winds. These are current temperatures, 65 at O'Hare, where the high was 80 earlier today. Midway was up to 84. Uh, they're down 11 degrees from where we were yesterday at this time, and uh, anywhere from 13 to 16 degree 24-hour drops at Waukegan and also at O'Hare. Dew points are uh, moderate here, but the really steamy 70 degree dew points are south and that's going to be another big change this week. We're going to drop these dew points at times as low as the mid 40s uh, or the low 50s. That's like North Woods here in autumn. So it'll be a very comfortable week with 93 percent humidity going away. That's what it's at right now. And in terms of pollen, uh, mold spores were high, weeds were moderate uh, in the area today and we have water temperatures of 56 degrees at the shoreline. But but uh, you've gone out of, uh, over the open lake waters, it's 74 out by the buoy. Problem is, not many people are swimming out there, or at least we hope they aren't. Here are the current temperatures from Deerfield to Wilmette to Bensonville and Morton Grove, low 60s. Other low temperatures at the moment, uh, Wilmette, River Grove, Des Plaines, and Chicago. And that's the view downtown as the, more, the evening commute uh, pattern gets underway.
Now, temperatures this week, every one of them will be below normal. And interestingly, the coolest air will come Thursday and Friday when we bring a high pressure in from Canada. Uh, temperatures will only be 79 Thursday, 77 Friday, but it'll be cooler by the lake. But look how we're hollowing out the, uh, the clouds and the precipitation within that high pressure coming in from the northwest. So improving weather on the way and a more comfortable week that will give the air conditioners a bit of a rest around here. Tonight, showers exit the area, partial clearing late tonight, except maybe in the far southern suburbs where the clouds will linger into the morning hours tomorrow. Low down to 61 tonight with some mid to upper 50s, coolest uh, northwest suburbs. Uh, winds will be north northeast. Clouds will continue decreasing where they haven't already by morning tomorrow, turning mostly sunny tomorrow. It'll be a bit breezy and cooler and much less humid. High of 76 tomorrow, only 60s at the shoreline. Then clear and cooler tomorrow night with diminishing winds, low of 60 with some low 50s in inland areas and mostly sunny. Little uptick in the temp for a day on Wednesday, a high of 84. But Thursday, Friday sees high pressure build in from Canada. The winds will turn northeast and strengthen. So Thursday and Friday will actually feel a lot cooler along Lake Michigan and in the downtown area than the 79 and 77, which are the O'Hare temps, because those northeast winds will be coming in off the lake. But kind of nice to give the air conditioner uh, a You're rest. Right. And, be, you know, we'll be able to throw open the windows at night and sleep with uh, the air coming in. Yes. Mother Nature doing yes. the air conditioning. <laughs> a little refreshment. All right. Thanks All right. a lot, Tom. See you later, guys. Take All care. Right.